Jay Bearden has treated and taken care of literally thousands of patients throughout all of our surrounding communities now for over 40 years. And he still, as Mr. Milliken would say, pursuing excellence. He never lets down, never lets up. <laughs> he uses a statement that Mr. Milliken told both of us one time. He said, well, why would you ever retire? Don't ever retire. <laughs> I think that's a driving force with Jay. He, he uh, in fact, at times <laughs> does more than he should do. And um, to get him to slow down is a, a, a job altogether not possible. <laughs> His staff loves him dearly because He's demanding, but he's so appreciative of them. He's, he treats his staff with such great respect. Let me put it this way, everybody loves Jay Bearden. I don't know anybody that doesn't love Jay Bearden. Well, I first met Dr. Bearden on um, the oncology floor when I was a nurse on 4th South. And so we had developed a relationship at that point. And then I went to work with him in his office. And of course, I've had, I've had children and he is a part of my family. He has also treated many of my family members uh, to include my mother and my father and my daughter. And so he's just a very special person to me. What you have with uh, Jay Bearden is such a unique human being to start with before he was ever a physician. He's just a good person. His heart is right. He does the right thing. He is an enormously talented clinician. He has, a, he has a wonderful scientific brain. He's very incisive. He's very up on the literature, but he's also so humble. If he, if he sees a, an aspect of a disease, especially in a breast cancer, there are many subtypes of breast cancer, he'll say, well, you know, maybe we should talk to somebody at, um, Dana Farber, or maybe we should talk to some of the guy uh, down at MD Anderson that's just written a paper about this. He's right up to date on the literature, and he's always anxious to get the input of everybody. He's uh, he's very humble that way. He doesn't ever take anything for granted. It doesn't even matter if it's his patient. He wants the community to have the best care possible. Dr. Bearden is the physician that you always want to go to because from the moment he walks into the room, he's always very attentive. He's, he's very, very kind and he's a Southern gentleman and he listens to everything that you say. I find him so incredible because from the minute of diagnosis, he was the most comforting, calming, and in control person. I mean, as a doctor, of course, he's on top of everything, but as a person, he's just so calming and reassuring. And I don't know too many doctors who give you their cell phone number the first time that you meet them. That, to me, is huge. I don't know anybody I've ever known in all of my years that um, personifies that, uh, that persona any better than Jay Bearden. He's a, he's a unique man in all respects but especially for this disease, breast cancer, which we made such strides in. And it's so appropriate that his name is on this building because he is the driving force and has been for so many years. And so many women and families have benefited from his clinical skills and talents, but his humanity. You're one of the greatest guys I've ever known medically, emotionally, scientifically, and in all ways. You're a great and a dear friend. Uh, you're a great physician. You are, what, you are who bring nobility to our profession. You are beloved of thousands of patients for all the right reasons because you treat them with such respect and with such humanity and with such tenderness you can't help but be loved. And I love you along with thousands of others. And I think no one could more appropriately have this award named than you. Dr. Bearden, just the years and time and the passion that you have put in to the Gibbs Cancer Center and the Breast Center, 
just almost this ward is designed for you. Um, I am very proud of you and very privileged to be an associate of yours. Dr. Bearden, I'm so excited that you've been given this award. You truly exemplify excellence in breast health, and I look forward to working with you for many years to come. Jay, I just want to thank you on behalf of every single one of your patients and to congratulate you on behalf of all the women in this room who are here today to support an uplifting event. Thank you. I am absolutely delighted to be able to present the first James D. Bearden Award for Excellence in Breast Health Care. No one could be more deserving than you for this fantastic award, which over time will signify just how foundationally important what you have done and the processes you've set in motion and the culture you have developed have gone forward. Thank you, my dear friend. May you be able to do this for many years to come.